Hey guys, look what came in my Laligi Beaumont bag in the style Maya in the grande size. So let's open her up. She is handmade in Italy. with 24 karat plating. Now Chanel doesn't even do 24 karat plating anymore, but Lola Yee Beaumont does, has four feet. And like I said, it is handmade in Italy. Isn't she just beautiful? The first time I ever heard of Lola Yee Beaumont, I saw a video by Handbag Holic. Now I love Handbag Holic a lot. So this critique um, is not meant to be insulting. It's just meant to be factual. So I saw this bag and I Googled it and I tried to find YouTube videos and I couldn't find anything on this bag. And I couldn't understand why because it's a beautiful bag and it's a great designer. And I was a little disappointed because it appeared that Handbag Holic was gifted all three bags. Has she bought anything else from Lily Goo Beaumont? I don't know. But the three bags that she showed on her video in the two videos that I saw were, they were gifted. And I think in one, I'm not sure, but I think one of the videos was like a paid promotion, but I'm not sure if it was from Lalagi or another uh, brand. <clears throat> but there was a little sign on their video, on her video that said paid promotion. So I was like, okay, <laughs> I don't, so, so I went to look for other videos, um, not because, I don't wanna say this, and have it sound bad, but I don't necessarily trust people who are being paid or given free product if they've never had a purchase history before. So if if she had bought stuff herself and said, listen, this is a great mid-range bag company, uh, I love it, I bought this, and then they gifted her stuff, I'd be like, oh, okay, she loves the brand already, so I can trust what she says. But if you're initially just being gifted, I don't feel like I would trust because there's no pros and cons, and I wanna know what the cons of a bag are. So I bought this myself, I love it, um, but I'm gonna tell you the pros and cons of this bag. So let's get into, um, the wrapping. So I am excited because they are going to send me a box. They have assured me that. Um, and it does come with this really nice dust bag. So I love that with the Lelegi Beaumont emblem on there. What I didn't like, and I hope that they can change, um, is it's presented. So it came wrapped, you know what I mean? Like with all this, this was in here and I wasn't really crazy about it because I feel like felt would have been a better option. Felt is pretty cheap. Like you can go to Michael's and get, you know, a felt thing this big for like, I don't know, less than a dollar. I think I've paid for felt maybe 23 cents to 50 cents. So it's a very in inexpensive thing. Um, and this came, oops. This came like this. I am going to go and buy felt. I'm gonna to go to Michael's and buy felt and I'm going to um, basically make this in felt so that when I store it, I will store it like this. Um, but I wish it came with felt. Outside of that, um, it was packaged fine because it didn't have the box. It sort of had to be packaged like this, but I can't wait for my box to come. So let's get into the bag. The bag is 35 centimeters across, up and down, it's 10 centimeters, and wide, it's a little over four centimeters. So it's a pretty decent sized bag. I really like it. It's very reminiscent of the Kelly. 
and you have the stamp in gold that says made in Italy and then the Lalagi Beaumont. Um, there is this and I think it just has to be there, but there is a little bubbling right here and you can kind of feel something behind this. It's probably to keep it structured, but I'm just noting So it is lined with suede, which I absolutely love. A good quality bag is leather lined, okay? Suede is leather. Um, it has a back pocket right here. It's very easy to open. My only concern is it's a little stiff here. And I'm not quite sure there seems to be like something like the seam right here that's just making the bag a little harder. So there needs to be a little bit more space between the suede and the cotton of the zipper. And that will solve the problem. That way it's not so hard to close it, but it's easier to open. Um, my second issue, I love this pocket. This is perfect. This pocket, unfortunately, is useless. You can, as you can see, and I have small hands, all right? I am not even 5'3". I'm like 5'2 and 3 fourths. So, and so I'm little. I have little tiny hands, little tiny wrists and I cannot get all the way down there. So the seam comes out, and I've already sent them a message regarding this because they can fix this. Um, the seam is goes in too far, and then you just can't, you know what I mean? Like, it's starting to, if you even try and put your hand in there, you can see that this is starting to pull. So there needs to be a little bit more fabric here, or the seam needs to be fixed because you just, you can't get down in here like you can in here. And I understand she probably doesn't want another flap like this on this side, but then there needs to be just a smidge more fabric for it to be useful and you can get your hand because if you drop something down here, so I carry eye drops with me and I typically will put them in places like this. I can't, this, this, this pocket's not even usable because if it gets dropped in, I, I'm not gonna be able to get it out or get it out very easily. As it is, I, I can't do it with my fingers. I would have to go like this and hope that it moves. Um, it's very spacious. It is so beautiful. So let's take a quick look at maybe like a size comparison so you can see. So this is a Midi Strathberry. I love this bag. I wish it was a slightly big bigger, but this is what it comes in. The largest, they have a larger size, but it's too large and it's just strange to carry. So this is my preferred size. So, So the width on this looks about the same. This is a bigger bag, obviously. This is supposed to be like 11 and a quarter or 11 and three fourths wide. And this is supposed to be like 13 so this is 35 centimeters, but it's like 13 and something inches. And this is like 11 inches and a little bit more. So this is um, obviously bigger when it comes to size. So just so you can tell, I feel like this is not a great size to hold everything that I want. This is, um, they have a, 
large size. This is the Grande. And I think their large size is very similar to this. Um, but I'm glad I got the Grande size. So, um, because there isn't the space because you have to close this like this, the space kind of is very limited in this bag where this one, you can kind of bring it all the way up to here without having any issues in closing the bag. Um, so yeah, so that's a size comparison. So let's see what will fit in this bag. I'm actually gonna take that Chanel wallet. So here's my Chanel midi wallet. And it's not very midi. I don't, I don't know what the, their, their other one, their Continental one, um, is like this long. So this is a very large trifold wallet. And then my makeup bag, which is the mini pochette. And then my sunglasses. I always put my sunglasses in a container so that they don't scratch. Unfortunately, I have to carry EpiPins. I'm just gonna move that, put that on the bottom like that. Some mints. I always carry floss with me. And my eye drops, I'm gonna put in right here next to my floss. So I need to come up with a better thing because I don't want these things scratching anything in my bag and I don't want this leaking anywhere in my bag. So I put it in a Ziploc, it doesn't look cute and I need to find a better solution. And then my cord, which I should probably put in here because I don't want these ends scratching anything. This isn't cute. It's functional, but it's not cute. And then I have to put my piercing in here because I need to have it we put in. And then some tissues. So that's pretty much, actually I want more eye drops in. Um, so that's pretty much what I fit in the bag. There's still room if you need to use it higher. I, that's all I carry in my bag, which is a lot by the way. And so I'm going to, the leather is stiff. I'm sure it will loosen up with use, um, but it is stiff. And I keep my, bags the way they are intended. So you could probably go like this and then carry the bag like this, but that's that's actually not my style. So it is actually a little bit of a struggle to get this closed. There we go. Again, the leather will loosen up in time. So it fits everything. There's no bulging anywhere. This is beautiful. This is a very beautiful bag. I would highly recommend this bag to anyone. Uh, the Grande is $1,500. And for something that is handmade in Italy with 24 karat plated gold, I, four feet. It also comes with, so you've got your bag information. So your care card and then your identification card. And then I am not a, I am not a crossbody strap person. That's not me, but it does come if you are and you like wearing it with a crossbody. Uh, it comes with a crossbody and it's got really nice substantial hardware. This is very substantial, which I love. And it comes in a matching cute bag. So you've got the little two matching 
which I absolutely adore. The staff at La Ligue Beaumont is absolutely amazing. I have to say it's some of the best customer service I have ever experienced in my life. They are so wonderful. I can't tell you how much I love the staff. The whole line of La Ligue Beaumont is amazing. It's not just their handbags. They have hats and clothes and an array of things to buy at their boutique and it is beautiful quality, gorgeous styles. I would, I have every intention of buying clothes and hats, particularly hats. I saw so many hats I wanted. I was like, I want that, 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 that. And I'm an American and we aren't hat wearers. So for me to be like, I love that hat to go with that dress. It just, it's, it's really says something to you. This bag is beautiful. The leather is absolutely gorgeous. Really stunning craftsmanship. It is absolutely worth the $1,500 you pay for it. So I would highly recommend this bag. It's so beautiful. It fits a lot. I love the grande size. There is... <laughs> There are three colors that I am interested in purchasing more. The, the She just came out with two pink shades and one is like a baby pink and the other is more of a hot pink and I want those two bags so bad. And then they had a green one as well that I'm definitely interested in. The sizes that they're available in are not in the large or the grande yet. So I am patiently waiting for at least it to come in the large, if not the grande. So I have every intention of buying more handbags. I am glad I got the grande size because the large size is about this size and I really like the size better. I carry a lot of stuff. If you're someone that carries um, a smaller amount of things, then the large or the midi bag is probably will work perfect for you. The large is probably the smallest bag that's gonna work perfect for me. And the grande is the absolute perfect bag size for me. As you can see, I do carry a lot in my bag. <laughs> But I absolutely love it and I intend to buy more of it. So I was so disappointed though. There were no videos about this bag. I couldn't, I still can't believe it. Why aren't more people talking about this bag? It's beautifully constructed. It's handmade in Italy. I mean, look at this, this is beautiful. And nobody's talking about it. So I'm really glad I saw the video on handbag holic so glad so she, she did her job right <laughs> she got she got me to buy it i just i wish she had purchased from the company prior to getting the free stuff to show that she already was a consumer of the brand you know what i'm saying like it's just my personal opinion but um it is an amazing bag. It was worth the $1,500. Yes, I'm going to be purchasing more from this company because I really love this company. So <laughs> this gummy is amazing. And again, I can't, I can't stop talking about the staff. They are so good. They are so good. I just, I just love them. Everybody, everybody in that staff is just incredible. So yeah, I can't wait to wear her. I'm going to be wearing her all the time. Oh, and you know what else I love? I can actually get this wet. So it's like raining in Boston right now. And I've had to change bags to bags that can't get wet. So, or can get wet, I'm sorry. So like as much as I love the Strathberry because of the saddle, and I don't even think they have it anymore because I didn't see it on their site when I was looking at their bags. But this cannot get wet because it's the same leather that's used on saddles. And um, it'll ruin the handbag where this, I can wear, you know, wear this in the rain and not worry about it getting ruined. So I would have loved to have had this bag in Scotland with me for sure. <laughs> 
So, oh, look at this. Isn't it beautiful? Like, I can't even, it's just stunning. It's just really stunning. Oh, and her boutiques are so pretty. I saw the boutiques. So I couldn't figure out whether I wanted the grande or the large. And I'm glad I went with the large, but they actually called me and I was able to cyber shop in their store. It was the coolest thing. So I was able to FaceTime and see the store and see the stuff and get the comparisons between the two. I'm telling you, these people, the staff is amazing. So I so excited about this brand. I'm glad that it's on my radar and I will absolutely be shopping more there. So I hope you guys go take a look at Lelagi Beaumont. Trust me, you are not going to be disappointed in this place or the staff. It is so wonderful. All right, guys. See you later. Bye.